Representing the 28 to 30 foot class in the center console category, the Release 301 RXS has an overall length of 30 feet 1 inch, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Designed to handle blue water and comfort, she has a dead rise of 22.5 degrees, a dry weight of approximately 5,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 220 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. All right, we're aboard the release 301 RXS, and for a guy who's defined his mission as wanting to go offshore, this boat absolutely fits the bill. Oh, you're almost missing it, Dave. He doesn't want to just go offshore, he wants to go anywhere offshore, okay? There's no such thing as, well, those fish are 30 miles out, I don't know if I want to do that. You can do it all with this boat, but let me tell you what we've learned about boats over the years. There's only one thing that salt water doesn't destroy. You know what it is? Salt water. Salt water. Exactly. exactly right. This boat has everything we need for a great day's fishing and nothing that's unnecessary. There's no nothing added to it that'll get in your way that the salt water will affect. Well, you're correct. And also, it, it's really about the limit of the size you're going to push comfortably with a pair of outboards. I mean, here's a boat that it's really big. It's got high freeboard. You'd feel really, really comfortable in this boat offshore in rough conditions, but yet you haven't made that monster leap into a boat that's running triple outboards, needs a huge trailer. Maybe you can't even trailer it and you have to leave it in a slip. Let's go through some of the features of this release that we like, which really sets us apart and defines the mission that we're talking about. Well, if you want to do more than offshore fish out of the boat, you got to have a place for your family, you got to have a place for guests to sit. That's why we're seeing so many boats now include bow seating. Well, how proud was Release to show us what they've done up here? You and I refer to it as convertible seating. It's really well laid out. Take the pedestal out, drop the table down, now you've got a recessed casting deck. You've got enough freeboard as a recessed casting deck to keep you inside the boat. But yet, like you said, you still can throw a cast net and clear the bow rail. You still can pull up and cast to a Kobe or something like that. So to call this bow section convertible, I think that's really the best description. Let's move aft and look at the center console. There's a reason they made the door like it is. It's big and it's on the front and it gives you maximum access. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What's the use of having a console this large if you can't get into it? When you've got a big door like this on the front of the console, it makes access to the head a lot easier. Plus, if you're going to store things in there, this is the way to go in and out of the console, especially in rough conditions. Not only that, think about bean bags. How many guys carry bean bags with them? Okay? Mm -hmm. Consoles can hold them, but you can't get them through most doors. This is ideal for storing bigger items. All right, let's move aft. You know that high freeboard you were talking about? Look how secure you feel in this boat. If we were out in rough conditions right now, or if I was fighting a big fish, I've got plenty to lean against, and I'm really not worried about water coming in. No, it'd take a heck of a wave to break into this cockpit. But let me tell you where it really shows, Dave. If you come back here, you've got your platform with your transom door. Now, if you're a guy like me and you catch billfish by the hundreds, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice to be able to step back here and fill a fish. You're not worried about the fact you can't reach him from here because you don't need to. You're gonna fill a fish, you're gonna gaff a big fish if he's big enough. That's exactly what that transom door is for. Well, also too, you're gonna to use this boat with the family occasionally, or you may dive, or you may snorkel. It's so much easier to get in and out of the boat using that transom door than it is to try and come up over the side. If Without the transom door, to me, the high freeboard's almost a minus, because I have to be able to reach the water. With the transom door, so much easier. On the aft side of the console, you've got a nice big flat area here for all of your flush mounted electronics. But just look, it, here we go. Everything you need, nothing you don't. You can put your screens there. There's nothing else there to worry about. I tell you where they did splurge, how luxurious is this seating? Keep in mind, this boat's at home 50 miles offshore. You're gonna wanna be comfortable all the way there. Well, the, the fact that they've split them like this, if one person wants to stand and one person wants to sit, you can do that. If this was a solid bench all the way across, you couldn't. You both have to stand or both have to sit. When they're separated like this, you have a choice. All right, you know, we've seen a lot of boats with really complicated stern seating. Why do you need more than this? You got a fold down cushion. It's a great place to sit, but when it's not necessary, it folds out of the way. Drop it and fish. Tell you what, I've heard a lot of controversy too about clear lids on live wells. Something I had never thought about you put a clear lid on this live well, think about the water temp inside, how it heats up. But because Release builds fishing boats, they understand 1,100 gallon per hour pump in here shoots through that live well. That means before the water ever has a chance to heat up, it's gone, it's out, and there's fresh water coming in. Keeps your baits better. It's just one more thing that works out for the fishermen. Well, too, you're at the maximum size you can comfortably push with a pair of twin outboards. So you really haven't made that real big commitment into a 
giant offshore boat, but you've got a boat that can certainly take you out there. Anywhere you want to go.